St. Barnabas, and I still miss my old teachers a bit, but Busey is very exciting, and there's such a lot to do. It's much bigger than St. Barnabas, and there's lots of new lessons, and I've made so many new friends. Barry comes from Busey Lodge. Say hello to Auntie Jean, Barry. Hi, Auntie Jean. Barry's in my class. He wants to be a scientist when he grows up, don't you, Barry? Yes, a scientist or an engineer. Probably a scientist, though, because science is really great. It's my favourite subject, and we've been doing experiments in the science labs right from the start. You'll find details of it on page 15, and I've put reference to that on the transparency on the screen. But the experiment that we will do will vary slightly from what there is in the book. We're going to try to find out if there is anything in the waters in the streams that flow near school. On the back of the field we've got two streams. We've got St. Kibur and the River Abberton. And over there we've got two samples of water from both those streams. Now, what you're going to do is using the upper heat that now and let it boil for dryness. Now think initially how much mass is there, how much residue is there in there? I like science, but my favourite lesson is English. We have Miss Tresida, she's nice. Some work to go with a poem about gales and high winds and rain. All the nasty things that happen to you when you're out in gales and high winds and rain. It's a good day today because I think the winds are supposed to be about 40 miles an hour. So on the board here, if you remember, we've got all your ideas in any order that they came out. And you should have a copy in your books. So just check that you've got it all down there. And then I want you to look at the board, look at your copy, and see if you can find me any good words to do with. Uh, movement. Anything moving in the poem or in the rough copy that we've got now that you all gave me? Yes. Sway. Sway. Good. Right. Put a ring round sway. In your books. No, you have Shake. Shake. Good. Put a ring round shake. Dripping. Anyone else? Yes, Barry. Trickle. Trickle. Rushing. Rushing, good. All those kinds of words, rushing, bubbling, trickling, all those can come in on your version and be added when you put those new words together. We write stories and poems, and I enjoy this a lot. We're going to pick them out, and we're going to put them then separately in a little space, if you like, on your next page. Right, this is really good. Now, you've got everything sorted out. Has everyone got their movement? And, yes, they've got them all ringed up. So what we want to do now is try and... We read plays as well, and sometimes we go up to the library. It's massive. Barry's best mate is Jamie. He's soccer mad like Barry. I'm not soccer mad. I like all games. I'm in the soccer and the rugby team. Well, he's only been here a month. I bet you'd be in the netball team too if they'd let you. Of course I would. It's not only the team stuff. P's good at beauty. You get treated as though you're sensible. Not like little kid. Sometimes we do pee and games on our own. And sometimes we do it with the girls. It's good, like I said. More grown up. And there's proper equipment too. Just like you see on the television in those athletics meetings. Oh! 
to me about my homework, Auntie Jean, but I'd rather finish this letter to you. Still, it is important, I suppose. We get homework every night, but the teachers don't give us silly things to do just for the sake of doing homework. Usually, it's something that we have done in class before, and it's always interesting. If you do it before your tea, it doesn't take long, really. Anyway, I'd better tell you about Jenny because she's really my best friend now, and I'd never have met her if we hadn't both been going to Busa. Hello, Auntie Jean. Jenny's dead lucky, really, because she gets a bus from nearly outside her house all the way to school, and Mum makes me walk. She says the exercise does me good. I think she wants to enter me in the Olympics. Jenny lives on Callan's. That's the new estate just behind the school. It's funny, really. She lives nearer the school than me, but the Callan's kids get their own special bus and we have to walk. Then, when I go round to Jenny's house for tea, she says she'd rather walk across the playing field so we can get there quicker. Jenny and me go around together. Let me tell you what we did today. We get registered by our farm teacher. It's nice starting the day with the same teacher. Mrs. Burden is our farm teacher. She's really nice. Yes, listen for your names, please. Paul. Yes, miss. Ian. Yes, miss. Stuart. Yes, miss. Darren. Graham. Yes, miss. James. Yes, miss. Andrew. Yes, miss. Ian. Yes, miss. Craig. Yes, miss. Barry. Yes, miss. Jamie. Yes, miss. Darren. Yes, miss. Thanks very much. Now, can I remind you as well about the first year trip to the real Sun Centre, which is on March the 23rd. You must get those slips in as soon as you can, please. We do need it to make arrangements. Thank you. Then, we go to the hall for assembly. It's massive, and everybody fits in easily. A different teacher takes the assembly each day. Every week, Mr. Goodyear takes one assembly. Good morning, boys. Good morning, girls. Good morning, Mr. Goodyear. The hymn we're going to sing this morning is on page three, and it is Lord Jesus Christ, you have come to us. And we always have a hymn, which is nice, because I like singing. through to some of the very later stages of the competition. But eventually, as I'm sure most of you know, the person who won it was, as usual, Steve Davis. Finally, I've got three attendance awards to present. These are for pupils who have been present in school on all the occasions, mornings and afternoons, throughout last term. 100% attendance certificates then to Julio Day in 1C. Julie, is Julie here? Well done, Julie. Congratulations. Thank you. And Sharon Lawler. Well done, Sharon. And also to David Best, also in 1B. <coughs> Today, our first lesson is French. Mrs. Cameron takes us for this, and sometimes we go in the language lab which is Brill. I really like French, and when I'm in the third year, I think I might take German as well. You can do this with what they call options, 
sort of choosing your own subjects. Look, if any teacher that you want, take them right out over to the gym if you want to be really hard. Okay, so I'll switch you on to pair work now. Get on with it and I'll listen to you. After French, we go to music with Mr. Clark. We're learning some new songs now. learning instruments. They do guitar or brass instruments and they seem to enjoy it. Mum's always going on to me about learning to play something. I told her I could play the tapes in my Walkman, but she didn't laugh. I think that she's losing her sense of humour now that she's dead old. After break, we go to maths. We are in different sets for this. Jenny is in set one and is already ace on computers. Yes, the computer club is fantastic. The computer club is great too, you can really have some fun. I like the computers, but I prefer writing. Soon, we are going to learn word processing on the computers, and that will be miles better than having to write all my stories. I can write my letters to you on the computer as well, Auntie Jean. Right, now, if you remember from last week, when we wrote the story in the classroom, well, this week we want to put it on the computer using the word processor. So if you now all log onto the word processor, using the user ID that's on the board, year one with the A mark, so there's no password. At 25 to 1, we have our lunch in the canteen. I couldn't find it the first day, but a prefect helped me. They are very nice and are really proud about being prefects. I want to be a prefect when I'm in the fourth year. dinner with Julie. Julie's in 1C. Say hello to Auntie Jean. Hello Auntie Jean. Tell Auntie Jean about 1C while we have our dinner. Okay, but don't eat my sweet while I'm talking to you Auntie Jean. 1C is the smallest class in the first year and we spend most of our time with Mr Mellon. Some of the children in our class have trouble with their work in the junior school but they like it now. What are we on now? That's super. Okay, do you want to read to me? Yes. Okay. A white grin spread, spread all, over Jeff's face. Could I ever, he said. If you helped me, Dad. The lessons are really interesting and you never feel as if you're going to get shouted at for doing things wrong. And I know I'm getting better at my work. You kept talking about... That's great. Which pigeons are these? To you, Karen. I said Karen Bradley. Get out. Would I be stressing my voice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't talk to you like that. 
if I said that. What could you say that was stressed if you wanted to uh, shout at a dog? Get under. Get under, that's it. My mum is really pleased with the progress. She says if I go on like this, I'm going to get a new bike for Christmas. It's a long line with the dots underneath. Can you tell me another? We go on lots of trips too with our work. Looking at things makes them a lot easier to understand. And then, when we come back, we do work about what we have seen. We do lots of homework too, where our mums and dads help us. I didn't used to like homework, but now I see how, how I'm improving. I think I'd rather do my homework than play out. It's nice working with your mum and dad at home. Hey, where's my cake? You eat your cake while I finish telling Auntie Jean about our day. The dinner times aren't very long, and when we've had our dinner and been to the library, it's time for lessons again. This afternoon, we have practical. Mum says that when you and her were at school, the boys did woodwork and metalwork, and the girls did cookery and sewing. Well, it's a lot different now. There are loads of new subjects, like photography, textiles, and computing. And the girls and boys both get to try everything. This afternoon, we will be doing CDT with Mr Hughes. This used to be just for boys, but I enjoy it nearly as much as English. I'd better explain what CDT is, Auntie G, in case you don't know. Electricity. And what's the other source? Solar. Solar. And what's another word for solar? Where do we get solar energy from? Solar. From the sun, that's good. Now, we're going to look at one aspect of energy, and that's wind-powered machines or vehicles. CDT means craft, design and technology. It's where we learn how to design things. A sailing dinghy or a yacht. Windmill. A windmill. Then we learn how to make them. I like working with the boys because sometimes they are better than me at some things and then they'll help me. And sometimes I'm better than them and it changes each lesson. And you can learn how to be engineers and designers. While we're at CDT, Jamie is doing home economics with Mrs. Jerrams. Which other two dishes have you done so far this session? It's not a year, remember, it's only a session that uses the same moving in method, Jamie. Cherry buns. Well, we call them jam buns. Jam buns. Oh, what was the other chantelle? Rock buns. Rock buns, that's right. We started with rock buns because they were the easiest, because they didn't involve you with your fingers doing anything. Why did you actually put the mixture out with? Can you remember? I used to think cooking was for girls, but I feel really proud when I've cooked something well. I can nearly cook as good as my mum already. Cookie's okay, but I still like out the best. I like drawing, and I like the quiet too, so you can get on with your work without being disturbed. I think art's the best. You don't really know, do you? Because you haven't tried them all yet. It'll take two years before we've done all the practical subjects. Yes. You've got a point there. You don't find rivers, but you don't find forests, right, not usually right on the edge. If you can move your forest in a little bit, all right, and if you're going to have mountains, perhaps have those towards the centre of the island. At five to three, the bell goes, and we go back to Mrs Burden for registration. Lisa? Yes, miss. Georgina? Yes, miss. Jenny? Yes, miss. Chantal. Yes, miss. Right, oh, yes. Sometimes we can go home then, or we can go to one of the clubs. There's loads. Jenny is in the computer club, but so I'd rather go to the school choir with Mr. Clark. We're going to sing in the carol concert at Christmas. But tonight, 
We're all going to help Mr. Seddon set the chairs out in the hall for the fifth year presentation evening. With great pleasure, I introduce to you now Mr. Harold Thompson, who was headmaster of Beauty School from 1951 to 1977 to address you and then to present the prizes to the successful pupils. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Auntie Jean, will you come to watch me get my GCSE certificates at the presentation evening when I'm in the fifth year? As you leave school, the end of this school year, I'm reminding you that the employers of Warrington and District have always held Busey boys and girls in very high regard. And I know that as you go out into the world, you will live up to that tradition and that high standard. The M Pointer Prize for Mathematics to Arma Siddiq. The A Sankey Prize for Computer Studies to Nicola Forster. so much to tell her. It was only at the end of the summer holidays when you wrote to her last. But a lot's happened since then, Mum. It really has. My name is John Goodyear, and I have the privilege and pleasure of being head teacher at Busey High School. During the course of this film, I hope we have been able to show you something of the life of what we believe to be an extremely successful and happy school. We feel that we have reason to be quietly proud of our achievements, whether these are the outstanding results gained by our students at university or the special welcome which local industry seems to reserve for our pupils. Many of my staff are acknowledged experts in their fields, both at county and national level and have provided the impetus which has made Busey a leader amongst high schools. The strength of our school lies in the fact that staff and pupils are united in one caring family, sharing pride in the school and its success. And in our family, every pupil is cared for in a way which the bigger school with the best will in the world, cannot hope to do. I believe in Busey High School. I believe in my staff and pupils. And most of all, I believe in the school's future. I would like to invite you and your child to join with us in that future. Thank you.